Hello, I'm Josephine, and today on Forcing Solutions, we are going to know our computer. So what would you say if I should ask you, what specification of computer are you using so I could get you an upgraded version of it? Not knowing your computer is just like having a child and not knowing the name or date of birth. That's weird. So let's just use this opportunity to get to know the little things that we have to know about our computer. So to begin with, let's just hop right on. We use the Windows R key and then type in MS Info 32 and then we press enter. This gives us a full system analysis, that is system information about your computer. Over here, we have the system manufacturer and it's HP. Then we have the system model. This is the particular computer you're using. So if you need to know more about your computer, you just have to type this into Google or you type it into the manufacturer's website to get to know more about it. We have the processor to be Intel Core i3 7th generation, and it's at 2.3 gigahertz. That means the speed of the computer. So it does 2 billion calculations per second, which is awesome. Let's move down here. We have the installed RAM to be 8 gigabytes. So basically, RAM is, is a temporal storage for whatever program you are running on your computer at the moment. Let's say, for instance, you put your computer on a sleep mode or you hibernate it. When you turn it back on, all your information or whatever you were doing is still intact, right? So then ask yourself, what happens when you turn off your computer? This particular RAM, every message or every program that is being stored in it is temporal and it gets lost anytime the power goes out or you turn off your computer. So that is what you need to know. That's the basis of it, what you need to know about it. Okay, so let's move to the next thing you need to know or where to find the other stuff. So right now you right click on the start button and then go to system. Okay, so this is what you need to know. There are certain things over here. Okay, we have the device name here. We still have the processor. We've already talked about that. And we have the installed ROM. Already talked about that. Let's see the system type. In the system type, this is 64-bit operating system with an X8, X64-based processor. So we have two different types of processors. We have an X86 processor. We have an X64 processor. An X64 processor runs a 64-bit operating system. And an x86 runs a 32-bit processor or a 32-bit operating system. So with the 32-bit operating system, it is the old operating system. And then it's, it's much slower and then it's not really secure. But with the 64 bits, it's actually the newer type and then it's faster than. Okay, so then we have a plus over here, which is the Windows specification. We have a Windows 10 Pro, and the version is 21H1. That's the latest version, and it was installed on this day. And then we have the OS build. We won't really go detailed about it. So now let's move to the hard drive, the type of hard drive, that the capacity of hard drive we are using. We go back to the Start button, right-click it, and we go to Disk Management. Over here on disk management, we are going to know the type of the capacity of hard drive. So this is a disk zero. It's automatically 500 gig. That is the hard drive capacity. But anytime the hard drive is there, there are some initial programs that are already running on the hard drive. So you're not going to get a full 500 gig gigabyte. But this is what you're going to get. The usable part of it, that's what you're going to get. So basically, we're not going to go detailed about it, but based on your requests, we are going to make videos based on that. So I'm hoping to see you soon, and then thanks for watching. Have a nice day.